Fine. Okay. Been here for a while. You, yeah. you seem like you're losing it more than us. Yeah. That's very, very hurtful to say. I've been having fun. Yeah. Now, this week. I'm. A, I. I don't think I've ever had this much fun in my life. Yeah. I, I'm amazed that we, we've been able to keep this clean. With how much we've been shitting and coming on it. Yeah. You just keep bringing up that perverse family thing, as if it's the craziest thing in the world. It's not that it's crazy. I just think it's like a really good jarring two minutes of media. It is. It's very well cut together. Yeah, like it. It's really good at if you're, I don't know, if you're having a bad day. It's kind of like breaking out a cigarette. I don't. I don't know if it's like breaking out a cigarette on a bad day. I don't know if I could compare it to that necessarily. No, I think that's exactly what it is. Okay. Well, it just gives it gives you a little buzz for like a minute or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good litmus test for how much somebody has been online. Yeah. In their life, that's true. like if you've never, if you never went to 4chan, and you never kind of like dug down in the depths of the internet then that would really shock you and i've showed it to people before where they were like i don't i've never seen anything like this and it's like well yeah mm. yeah i mean people casually watch beheading videos and all sorts of shit yeah yeah shout out to so the watch, 2000s i can watch girls pooping and people throwing up and stuff yeah that jars, wasn't a girl right girls don't jars full of cum that was a girl she pooped out of her pussy <laughs> It was a big old turd that came out of it. Yeah. Solid, healthy diet. Yeah. That's what that's we, how girls poop is through their pussy. Out that, of their pussy? Or through their pussy. That's why the bidet has the front okay. wash. Right. You, you, you sat on a bidet before, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, they have the front wash to wash all the poop out of their yeah, right. poopy pussy. I thought that was just a slap my soft dick around, sort of. Yeah. Well, men, yeah, use it for fun reasons, but girls <laughs> yeah. poop out of their pussy, so they yeah. have to get all the shit out of all the lips and crevices that make up a pussy. Lips <laughs> Have you done? Have you fixed? Have you done anything? It looks the back same, there? dude. It's like getting done. By who? Me? I'm doing it. It's it's like it, it will fly away one day, like a goddamn like a dove. That's how great. That's how graceful. It'll you be. better not put no fucking flames on it. I feel like that's you telling me that you want desperately want flames. You I, better not put flames on it, dude. Yeah, dude. Don't do it, dude. I'm gonna be so mad if you put flames on the yeah. On I have a pa- I have a paint guy that could do a killer set of don't, don't, t- don't, don't tell don't us about him don't tell do us not about call him. that guy being a killer set of flames I've actually I bought all the seasons of American Choppers on Amazon <laughs> no way. Prime I used to fuck with that show that show is so dumb and so like like some of the best best uh, I love I, yeah, I, I I love it it's a good show I'm just saying it's dumb it's like it, the reason I watch it is because of how bad it is yeah, yeah. I watch a lot of terrible reality television like uh, Gold Rush you ever see Gold Rush no what's that about. Oh yeah, I, I've, people I've literally just uh, like, they like digging like, for gold. Essentially, um, they call oh, it like yeah, metal yeah. detectors and shit. in the Alaskan. No, not that. No, no, it's like giant people like uh, like giant machines digging up ground and they put them through the sleuths. And they like, wash out the dirt and then like you find all the gold and that shit. Yeah, aren't they the ones that are like, oh, this is like a Aztec? Yeah. Oh, I know this one. No, no, was, oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm, I think you're thinking of another one, but there's a lot of gold shows. And but. these guys, like, compete, right? Or not, they don't compete, but there's, like, multiple com- different groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of different groups and stuff, but it's just, like, it's basically, like, things break and we fix it, the show, with very minimal. Like, gold is, like, the afterthought of the entire thing. Right. It's like, Parker Lewis needs to get 40 ounces of gold to hit his, like, you know, seasons. Yeah. Whatever. And it's like you just hear like obviously in post they put like a sound of something breaking and then like Parker's like across the camp he's like dang it he like runs up and he's like what happened it's like the sleuth machine just hit a bog yeah like things that you have no idea yeah. it does like all these graphics of things being fixed but that's the entire thing and I've watched like six seasons of it easily the first strip club I ever went to was called Solid Gold and I'm- this was in uh, London Ontario is that because they pee on you and uh, no well, I, I didn't. Maybe if like in a private room they'd do that, but it. it was a Canadian strip club. First time I've ever been to one, and uh, one of the things they do is like the girls would like open, you know, their their legs in front of you, and you had to our dollar, our dollar things are coins, mm-hmm. so you had to throw coins at and their pussy. 
Did she at least wipe all the shit out of her pussy before you threw yeah. the coins at it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't remember if there was poop. I don't think I've ever met anybody that has ever ever had an actual enjoyable experience at a strip club. Wait, a coin? This episode is this episode is about movies, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, sorry, we always fucking do this. No, I mean you you had to pay for movies with coins back in the day, right? Like the little. You remember those? Like those yeah, little, like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. No, they used to have those like as like relics, and I don't know. Like some like historical maybe not train hundreds, but I mean like like a, like maybe a hundred years ago, yeah, yeah, like a his, like a historical train station, they might have that. You know, you put a fucking yeah, you put it in there, and it's like a, it's like not even like a movie. It's just like a like a set amount of pictures that yeah that are inside of this box that spin really fast. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, so it's kind of similar. So when you put the coin in her pussy, how many like like what what did she do? Turned on like <laughs> one of the Chuck E. Cheese yeah. animals. And yeah, <laughs> started singing. Yeah. Holy shit! You just well, wait. wait she actually, just fucking and I'm out. No, so no, she no, would, no, so no, she no. would literally spread her leg. Are you saying that it was like a coin slot where you did? No, no, no. You like you'd have to like, aim it and throw it. It was like a game, but it was a game to like get tips. But it's like you can't make you know you can't make it rain with coins. I mean, I guess you could, but it would hurt. They say that they call that make it, like make it hail. Yes. Yeah. That's what they so, say. So, so wouldn't she just letting coins get thrown at her pussy? Yeah. I mean, people weren't really hitting it. They're just throwing it near it. Yeah. Got it. Or it's like poor aim. You know? That's like the best version of like a like a wishing. I was a about wish, to say like, like, a, like a wishing well. well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fam- family brings up a seven year old. <laughs> All right, wish for a good birthday present. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! <laughs> you hit her Great clitoris. Shot. Great shot. <laughs> anyway, movies. You're right. This this episode is about movies. It's What's movie. your favorite movie? Dark Knight. <laughs> I believed you for the a new, the new one. Yeah, what the new Batman? The new Batman. Yeah. The Batman. Um, I don't know. That's a, a that's such a loaded question, that's right? Not a loaded question. What's your favorite movie? Crank. Jason Statham. Mm-hmm. Crank. Yeah. What's yours? Um. Yeah, I was gonna do a Jason Statham impression. Yeah. Do it, please. Well, you know, he's always down here like this. He's a. I guess I'm gonna have to fuck you to stay alive. Yeah. 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 That's you nailed it. I felt like I was watching Crank for a second. I got stoked. No, you were. I had the same body as Jason Statham too. Yeah. yeah. I also am five foot four and have three percent body fat. <laughs> See, five foot four. He is like an extremely short man. No, he's not. He's my height, dude. Right? Yeah. You're not short. Let me see. Let me see. I'm not like extremely short. You're like five. Si- oh. He's taller than. He's taller than us. Oh. He's almost as tall as you. Yeah, well, he's not as tall though. Yeah, he's five ten. Listen, anything under six feet, you might as well be fucking, dead. Yeah, yeah. No, I Bro, yeah, I know. Get Simon, get rid of him. Oh, we know, Merch. we know, we know. <laughs> Simon Merch. This, this <laughs> movies. This is about movies, by the way. This episode, it's about movies. Yeah, we talk about Crank. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? Um, I know it's a bit normy, but Office Space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but well, it's it, pretty normcore. But that's a great. I don't know. It's, it's pretty nostalgic that's for me. A great movie. Um, don't think of any other. Yeah, mine's Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Nice. What is that? It's a Humphrey Bogart film. Oh, it's my favorite film. Is it really? Hmm? How old is it? I think it came out in like '48. And that actually is your favorite movie. Literally, the my favorite movie of all time. You know, it's a great movie. I actually watched recently. It's a silent. It's a silent film. We're well, not silent, but it's really no dialogue. Mon Uncle. It's like some French movie. It almost feels more like a play or something. Like the way everyone is like their movements are kind of in coordination at times. Right. And they pick a lot of these interesting buildings where like like one main scene is like you see this guy going through a building like a cartoon. Yeah, he's bored. <laughs> yeah. He has need yeah, he needs his parents here to be like, Are you are you bored? How much adrenaline is in that movie? Zero. <laughs> is there a man that needs to have his heart stay above a certain beats per minute to stay no, alive there isn't there isn't a bald buff uh action Ooh, hero to tall, project yourself tall, into. wait to tall. be cast in more uh more uncle more uncle <laughs> yeah they'll bring it back but he'd just be running through this building killing everyone in every room yeah i think i'm gonna fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's all i have to say about jason <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was I, I remember my first my first ever uh, encounter with Jason Statham 
was uh, I watched Snatch, yeah, which is like a very clever movie. Yeah. And then everything after I saw after that, I was like, these are just dumb action movies. Yeah. So there's actually there's some like I don't know if it's like got a ton of views, but I feel like this is a pretty well known interview where someone asked him on the red carpet, like, you ever thought about like doing a drama or something? And he kind of rolls his eyes and he's like, I think I'll stick to what I'm good at. And then the, the person interviewing him was like, okay. He's like, yeah, All good right. call. Yeah. That's sick. Can you imagine like, uh, can you imagine Jason Statham in like Ghost Story or something like that? No. I want to see that dude in a coming of age movie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see him in Peter but- uh, Peanut Butter Falcon. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to say Peter Rabbit <laughs> or <laughs> either or who framed Roger Rabbit with Jason Statham yeah, yeah, well, he just kill everybody <laughs> oh, uh, sorry Roger I'm going to have to frame you yeah. <laughs> after I fuck what are you, you. talking about yeah. Jason <laughs> is Jason it's actually Jason Statham the man is yeah. the deal <laughs> yeah but first I'm going to have to fuck you raw anyways but old Hollywood I, I like all old I don't like it, but I'm intrigued by old Hollywood because a lot of people died. Making movies? Yeah. I mean, they still do. Uh, film death is like definitely very common. I mean, still. Yeah. Crew death. Mr. Uh, what's this? You know, the gun. Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. Man with the gun. <laughs> Mr. Man with Mr. the Baldwin. gun. He became that af- uh, after he shot that innocent person. I think Amazon's going to make him the next uh, 007. He's going to be the next Clint Eastwood. Nice. Really? No. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, do you think Amazon, who just paid <laughs> hundreds of millions of dollars for the 007 <laughs> franchise, would cast Alec Baldwin? I think they should it's, cast Jason Statham. <laughs> It's an obvious. It's an obvious choice. Who? Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Out of shape, sixty-five-year-old Alec Baldwin. One Zero murder charge. Appeal. Yeah, one murder charge. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home-cooked favorite, but don't feel like going to the store, or you want something exciting and new, but it would be great to stay in tonight. DoorDash connects you with everything you want, whenever and however you want it. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash, drinks, snacks, and other household items in under an hour. Every time you place an order for pickup or delivery, you're setting off a chain reaction that helps give back to the people who make your neighborhood unique. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. With DoorDash, you're not just getting the things you love, but supporting the community you love, too. Yeah, like your community Popeye's. Exactly. From the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved. Because with DoorDash, there is a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code MEATLOCKER. That's 50% off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code MEATLOCKER. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, that's code MEATLOCKER for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. I always forget that he was like the handsome guy back in the day too. Yeah, he was. He was, yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know. I feel like he had the same trajectory as like Russell Crowe. Kind yeah, of handsome early on, but then like the but the majority of their careers just being like, kind of like fat and old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah, we all remember Russell as the gladiator, not the thick boy that he is now. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like Maximus, whatever, yeah. Darius Smithers, whatever the fuck yeah. his name is, or whatever. But no one remembers. Yeah, just like did you see the Russell Crowe movie where he's like, well, he's yeah, he's a super old and fat. This came out like maybe three or four years ago, but it's like him just like. This woman like cuts him off in traffic or something, and the whole movie is him following her and fucking yes. her for life. Yeah, I think I watched that. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, but it was just it's such it's a weird like road rage or something. It's something really fucking stupid. It's wild. I need to go watch this. Thing. It's like all she does is like, oh, really? And he's like, you know, is he's like unhinged? follows her home and shit. Yeah, just like I have you and son. your family are fucked. It's unhinged, maybe. Probably unhinged. Yeah. Yep. yep. Who here thought about killing somebody? A random stranger on the way to work today. <laughs> Raise your hands. Everyone's just like, exactly. Exactly. Why has there not been a movie? Can we get the most out of shape <laughs> minor celebrity that we can find to make it we as have re- Russell? <laughs> Bingo. That, that will make it relatable. But everyone remembers Russell as the gladiator. Shh. 
I mean, I listen. I I like the I like Russell being the big fatty that he is now. Yeah, I relate to him. Yeah, you know, and I think that also if you had like a really sexy like a Jason Statham guy, where the fuck did you cut yeah, me it's off? Not, I'd be like, what do you have to be mad about, dude? Yeah, take off your shirt. You have a six pack and stuff. He is rolls on days, sweaty at all times. As a big fat guy, let me tell you something. There's never such thing as like putting on a shirt, even if it's the correct size and it's comfortable. It's just like the clothing is just a constant reminder of what's happening. Right. So I said I I could totally feel it. It's a domino effect in his mind. So good film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like you took a lot away <laughs> from the movie. I did. Well, the whole time I was just I, I was. It was weird because at the end you, you're supposed did to simulate all the times Russell could barely get out of the truck, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. my guy. I know, why he's so pissed. I know that why vibe. He had, yeah. he had to get the F. 250. Yeah, that that's why he's pissed that you cut him off because it's like it's hard to turn the wheel. It's a hard deal. Yeah, you have to have a big truck and he's like he's trying to go to like fast food places. It's big truck, very tiny spaces. Yeah, I sympathize with the man. You ever you guys get like a really hard in the movie theaters whenever you see how hot everyone is now? Oh yeah, dude. <clears throat> that's my favorite part of movies is how many hot people are in them. <clears throat> like Laura Dern. Yeah, Laura Dern. God, yeah. 67-year-old Laura Dern. Mm. Especially whenever she had purple hair in that mm. Star Wars movie. Mm. <laughs> yep. Very sexy. So don't, don't do that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> don't do that. You don't mm. like that? I like that sound. Mm. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> He's eating something good over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to know what the point was where it started being like, th- you know, 32-year-old, like, grown adults playing high school characters. There was obviously a point where, s- who was the first person to be like, Yo, what if we just made them all twenty, and not actually cast, you know, teenagers? It would be nice to have old Hollywood, m- like, meet up with that. Yeah, because like Humphrey Bogart back in the day was a sex symbol. Yeah, and he was like fifty four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or he, I think he was like thirty nine, but he looked like he was eighty seven. Yeah, just because it was nothing but just whiskey and chain smoking and all that shit. What did he look like? Have you not seen a picture of Humphrey Bogart before? Yeah, yeah, of course I have. No. Look up a picture of yeah, Humphrey Bogart. For, no, just for just for yeah, just for me. <clears throat> he, he's, he's talked like you know, talked like this. Yeah. <laughs> Humphrey Bogart. He's like I'm the sexiest man alive. He's pretty hot. Definitely not the sexiest man alive. No, but like I don't, I don't even think you could say he's hot. Me, yeah, I mean, you know what I just of... realized? It probably everything was like age appropriate, probably because there were no like laws and like labor standards, mm. and once. You know, they Hollywood abused a bunch of kids, and then some fucking union came through and just don't you hate those? Yeah, just put up <laughs> put up a bunch of rules and yeah. shit, and like can't use the kids for twelve hour shoot days anymore fucking for sag. fifty cents a day. But can you imagine Humphrey Bogart <clears throat> being like a high schooler in a movie? I mean, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be just super fucking great? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like would. instead of the girls like walking down, it's the same girl, and she's all that walks down instead of whatever his name is you have hum- humphrey bogart waiting there to take her to the date <laughs> and he's just like 70 yeah, he's just like i can't believe i just got my driver's license <laughs> to take you to the prom <laughs> after we do after the sadie hawkins maybe we'll catch the cinema <clears throat> she's, you mean, she's like you mean a movie he's like quiet you <laughs> oh <hand>. god <laughs> jesus just Christ. like you did to your mom i didn't oh, well i did <laughs> No, your dad did. Yeah, I know he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Not true, and that's fictional. It's yeah. made up, actually. I'm putting actually a big billboard out there with the pictures of your mom's black eyes. No. <laughs> it's, gonna the, it's just gonna be in the fields over there for people to see as people fly by or do whatever. Have you seen this man? He hit his mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude! But I mean, you know, the, the, at least with Humphrey, I mean, we could we could talk to him. How could we talk to him? Well, people. I mean, I don't know if you know this. We've had actually quite the ensemble of characters. No yeah. way, Humphrey Bogart's not here right now. He is. Oh, I bet god. you he old is. cinema. Hear about yeah. Humphrey Bogart jacking off. It's what it's gonna be. I hey, I'll tell you something. I'm what? praying to God that he doesn't jack off, doesn't talk about <laughs> pedophilia. <laughs> Fucking kids. It you was know. the 20s. You know like, that's it's, the it's problem. It's a different time. Oh, here he is. Oh, fuck is this shit? Wow, you look old. You're already fuck. Already very aggressive. <laughs> yeah, he just sat down. And he said, "What the fuck old, is this shit?" Of course right. I'm old. Of course I look old. All right. Any of you idiots got a cigarette I could smoke? No, I ran out back there. Check uh, check your 
the yeah inner yeah Oof, just uh, right above your shoe there oh, right there there's one hiding there yeah little little shits get everywhere these days yeah fuck what oh, the hell I, is this huh i don't know anything about you dude i'm not yeah you I'm, not, should... I'm not really a cinema buff so like tell me about that's the thing you new hollywood guys don't understand right you got to have a little bit of mystery to be sexy these days mm. see these chris pine and chris Tucker, whatever these other idiots do. Those are the, those are the two sex symbols of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, you know, I read the paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They just reveal so much on the on on the web and whatnot. Humphrey, can Too you give much. me your best Chris Tucker impression? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jackie Chan, shut the fuck up, huh? You're pretty good. That's yeah. Yeah, I think you nailed it. We gotta it, find this little Chinese baby. <laughs> That's from the second one. Yeah. She's hiding for some reason. <laughs> we gotta figure it out. <laughs> Nice. Anyway, what else you want? <clears throat> you talking well, trash about old Hollywood, eh? I mean, he wants to know about you and, and your career. What do you want to know, sweetheart? Were you an actor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I was an icon. <laughs> yeah, he was a fucking icon. <laughs> okay. I could look at a woman in her clothes <laughs> would just melt off her body. Really? Yes. What was that like? Just knowing that you were... That feeling of power, baby, nothing comes close and nothing ever will and nothing has since. So what was Hollywood like back then? Everybody was hot. Everybody was wild. There was power to be taken anywhere if you had the balls to grab it. Very motivational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting pumped. Yeah. And only with a name like Humphrey Bogart... Could you just grab that steer by the testicles and pull and pull and pull until it just shoots money down your throat and all over your chest and your wife's chest? Oh, you were married? Yeah, I was married. To who? I don't remember her name, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's been a while. You're pretty old Wow, It's been about, what, 80 years? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, back then people were a lot dumber, see? They weren't as educated as these folks today taking their SATs and whatnot. Right. How'd you learn about SATs? Uh, you know, I read a book one day somewhere sometime. I didn't read no books back then because it was for, uh, I don't know how you say it, frilly boys. Oh. Yeah, those types. I think he's talking about. Light on their feet. You know I think I mean? he's talking about homosexuals. Oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, okay. fairy boys. That's mm. what I was looking for. Thank you. You look good, man. Thank you. Yeah. Horrible. You look bad. Yeah, some might Very say I look that good. Melted that ain't what your mother said when I was fucking her in the barn last night. What the fuck? Wow, yeah. dude. And dude, your mother's the... too. They were there taking wow. turns on old Humphrey's <laughs> Bogart. <laughs> this guy is your idol? Yeah. He yeah, what's not sucks. idolized, chump change? <laughs> I'm going to throw some... Actor names at you. Throw what you I just got. want to hear gut reactions. Of what <laughs> yeah. Like. Sure, yeah. Sure. Chris Pratt. Pussy. <laughs> Johnny Depp. He's okay. Okay. All right. Smoke cigarettes, that one. Jason mm. Statham. He's pretty good. Um, mm. Jeff Goldblum. Fairy. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Humphrey, how do you feel about my shorts? You look like you're light on your feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are those? Almost diesel so. jeans? Oh, got it. Yeah. He thinks you're gay. Yeah. Just, yeah, just stay away from me, all right? <laughs> Stop looking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I have never seen something so hideous in my life. Oh, yeah? It's like watching a train wreck. Yeah? You know, you can't look away. <laughs> okay, all right. It is crazy how many cigarettes he's smoking. He and has more one keep, in every finger. And more keep appearing. It's amazing. He's holding them like, yeah. They look They're what gives me prolonged life, much like a vampire survives on... The blood of a virgin. What do you think of Robert Pattinson? Speaking of Pussy! Oh. Except in that Bat Guy shit. What do you think he of was the Batman okay. series? Humphrey? The Batman series? I can do with it. I can do without it. Mm. Michael Keaton. Yes. Christian Bale. No. <laughs> you ben <like> Hufleck. <laughs> Fuck no. Adam West. No. Why do you like Michael Keaton? Because he's old? <laughs> Who doesn't got, like Michael Keaton? <laughs> he's got what can't be defined, baby. He's got just that shit in his eye that you know is going to lead the pink eye. 
Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm. Humphrey, talking don't about. point to my dick when you say Wait. you know what I'm saying. Well, you know that thing's got an eye. It keeps winking at me. I think it's a broad. <laughs> I'm gonna lift my hat. I might be inclined to kiss it. Who knows? <laughs> Just keep it out of my face. I wouldn't want the tabloids to have a field day with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah. Nah. You're right. You want to want him seeing that you're a frilly boy. Look at them boots. He's got some dirt on his pants. Thank you. He's laid a railroad track or two in exactly. his life, right? Yes. Or been on the receiving end of one, at least. You know what I mean? A train? Yeah, dude. You. He's talking about you. Yeah, no, I get okay. it. I get he it. Said, Thanks. I thought he was actually complimenting me for a say second, you're as straight as a railroader, yeah. man. Got it. Got it. Thank you, Humphrey. Oh, you gay. Well, Can Humphrey, I leave? Yeah. No, Humphrey, you're... You're free to go. Yeah, man. sure, dude. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, go for yeah, it. Do what you I don't know. Do, that was man. the first, you know. That's the first guest. First guest that minute wasn't longer. It? I'm gonna have to call my agent. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, residuals or something. Yeah, no. Nah, I got thing. some cigarettes to smoke. Yeah, and some moms to fuck. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, man. Thanks anyway, for Anyway, you know, it's uh, it's just nice. It's always it's a shame when the guest <laughs> has to leave. Yeah. I mean, it's just like we I was having fun. Hey, come the fuck on. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. It's kicking over camera. It's just nice when the tripod. guest is not a pedophile. That was you know? nice, yeah. Even though it's odd that the that the pedophiles seem to be nicer. <laughs> just as guest, which I don't know if that translates. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. If we if it's a bit of a thought experiment, I guess. Right, that's, that's all yeah. I can say. Oh, we've had a long discussion about this. Yeah, we're not he will again. not sit and watch in a he still he will not watch a movie in a movie theater. Don't like Why? it. Just don't like it. What does that mean? Why? I just don't like it. I don't know. Don't have fun. I'd rather be at home. But why? Because I just don't like it. But why? But why? Why? Because don't I like don't. Because I don't why like, it. like it. I'll. I'll. I'm a Cody interpreter now. Yeah. So Cody, he does not like it because he doesn't like sitting with strangers. Um. He doesn't. He'd prefer to know everyone he's watching the movie with, and he also said that. Um, it freaks him out because he thinks it's going to be a mass shooting in there. Yeah, and also he feels like it's the worst way to watch a movie because of the audio is not always perfect and yeah, being in a completely soundproof room with the best speakers you could possibly get. Okay, well you don't like watching movies as they're intended to be seen, but that's okay. It's just like no, they're intended to be at home. They're not that is, comfortable. That's actually just not you have unlimited not, access that's to not, all whatever you want in the fridge, in the pantry. <laughs> you know. Now, when people watch this, we want to make sure that they're able to grab their their apples, their their fruits, you know, <laughs> anything else, Protein and that they powders. can just, and that this movie will will be perfect for anybody at any given time, no matter the room, the TV, anything. So, what about people dying during movies? Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. While making movies, sorry, I mean we talked about Alec Baldwin earlier. Yeah, that that was super unfortunate. But I- there have been some, you know, some famous occasions. Famous yep. occurrences. Sorry, Let, people. Let's talk about the one on that stuff. you were laughing at. I wasn't laughing. Okay, I wasn't. Okay, it just was a shocking thing to read. Yeah, no, it is actually. Yeah, during the Twilight Zone, uh, during a scene where Vic Morrow is being attacked by American soldiers in Vietnam, uh, some unknown error caused the helicopter to crash, and the main rotor decapitated Vic Morrow along with two child actors. Well, why are you laughing? I mean, it's because it's so extreme. It's so absurd that, that yeah, is that it, in my mind, like a helicopter crashing and then the rotor blade, like, <laughs> like decapitated. There's, the, there's, there's a video. There's a video of it. There's a video of it. You could, you could, there's the actual video of that happening. No way. Literally. No, there's not. Yes, there. Can we pull that clip up. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so they were in this small space. Actually, there's a there's a documentary on Shutter right now called Cursed Films, and they talk about, like, tragedies that have happened on film sets, and this is one of them. And, yeah, this is just the thing, and, like, the helicopter is way too low, and all the shit's going on. He had to carry these two children across this man-made pond thing with all these explosions going on, and then this, this, part, this part coming up right here. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there's, like, multiple angles of it, but... Oh, my God. So all three of them died. Yeah, instantly. See, see, why are you laughing now? Because that was a funny question to ask. <laughs> yes, all three of them died. <laughs> Wait, they died? 
I just wasn't sure. I mean, yeah, I make mean, that's. I didn't, I wasn't, well, even beforehand, it said the main rotor. rotor <laughs> their but that heads came off. That Vic Morrow. Yes, that, that was that was the boy, dude. Their heads came off. I know it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. You were laughing hysterically. I'm not laughing hysterically. You read the last one, and then you're like, "Oh, the last two lines." I thought, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, you can talk about two kids getting decapitated and laugh. I'm not. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't laughing at it. I was laughing at how it was. I was he, I, before we ever read, it, we were talking, whatever, and he like went ahead and he was just like <laughs> reading it. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't expecting. It. it was a shocking thing to read. Let's move on to the next one. That's true. Anytime that I <clears throat> hear about a horrible tragedy, I usually laugh really hard. Yeah. Well, we, oh God. Anyways, you know Top Gun, people died in Top Gun too, right? No. I actually didn't know that. No, I didn't know that either. I didn't know either. And it, it, it's always weird of like, I don't know why I feel my gut reaction is like when these things happen, I feel like it should be like extremely put out there. Like, yeah. Top Gun, by the way, yeah. like in memory of these people, they died, th- yeah. this blah, blah, blah. But I always never heard Tom Cruise talk about, what's this guy? Art Scholl. Uh, okay, so it says, even though the pilots were trained professionals and every precaution was taken to keep the crew as safe as possible, flying has inherent dangers that performers flirted with every day. Pilot Art Scholl, while performing a flat spin, was unable to recover from his maneuver and ended up accidentally crashing oh, his that's jet. Sad. Yeah, dude. I think it's wild when stuff like this happens that they still put that shit out. Well, oh, dude, hey, Show we're, spend, we're spending money, you know? Yeah. Yeah. How much is a human life? Yeah. Probably not as much as that jet. No. At least to a studio. Yeah. So. I think it'd be horrible to like die on some fucking dumb Michael Bay movie. <laughs> I would hate dying for any film that like, especially if I'm just like an extra. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Like maybe if you and your buddies were like, this is like, like, <laughs> you know, this is our big one, our big break. It's like, you know, you died for the cause, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, being a fucking extra <laughs> yeah, and like, like you're in the background doing that. What are you supposed to say to make it look like carrots. peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, and then you just get taken out. Yeah. By a fucking horrible, by a loose boulder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 and, you know, and you know that like a Michael Bay kind of guy would just be like, <sighs> yeah, clean it up. That's going to set us back two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, he'd be like, so we have to stop shooting. Michael Bay. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Says the uh, stunt wasn't as scary. Is that what it says? Yeah. Michael Bay says stunt wasn't as, this stunt wasn't as scary in person. Jesus fuck. Yeah, dude. No, that's not scary at all. It's just attacking the whole crew. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good little meme right there. Good bit, brother. Yeah, that's a good bit. Good bit. You had a lesser known movie that what? you, didn't you, that you brought like a poster for? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, you wanted to share with us? Yeah, not a lot of people know about this one. And it's your, you like this movie? Oh, I love this movie. <laughs> Let's see. I'm curious. It's uh, it's pretty niche. What is it? Um, It's the man with the vagina mouth. Oh, it's called The Man with the Vagina Mouth. Yeah, pretty literal. And it's starring... <laughs> it's starring all of the Hanks. Colin Hanks, Chet Hanks, and Tom Hanks. Yeah. They finally all did a film together. Yeah. And yeah. It's, and it's, it's an indie. It's new. Okay. And it's Chet... Chet's the guy with the vagina mouth? Well, yeah. Um, what ends up happening, though, is uh, Chet, he, he ends up drowning. And the character that Colin plays... Uh, tri- Chet Lee, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of, yeah. This is a bad rendition of him. <laughs> Colin and Tom have to, uh, in their characters, have to save. They play themselves in the movie. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, they, sorry. Yeah, Colin Hanks are... as Colin Hanks. Okay. Yeah. And so Colin has to go save Chet as he's drowning, but he can't. He's not strong enough. So Tom comes to help. And then they end up having to give him CPR. But in the process, like their instincts kind of take over <laughs> and they kind of start eating him out. And then what they don't realize is that. Uh, Chet's vagina is it's a curse so they end up getting vagina mouth as well wow. yeah that's like a nice universal horror film yeah oh, or like wow. Frankenstein it's gonna go Frankenstein uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon <laughs> Wolfman and then of course Man with the Vagina Mouth yeah and we should have known what it, was, what it was about since we wrote it apparently screenplay by Cody Hunter and Noel <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I worked on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's been a long time ago. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. you know, so many projects. It's like 
coming out. Yeah, I forgot to announce our big feature. Um, Today, twenty four movie coming out. <laughs> yeah. I actually have one too really? that I wanted really? to share with you guys. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, hmm. this. I know I said Crank is my favorite film, but uh, that's you know kind of in the next or in the last ten years. This is an older one. Okay, that you might not know about. It's actually new. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is new. It's a newer one, is what I meant to say. In the last year, it's called Sacred Semen: The Salty Poop Deck. Nice. And um, what the fuck is yeah. going on <laughs> on this cover, dude? I'm sorry. Who is that supposed to be on the left? Well, that's Timothy Chalamet. Oh, got it. Oh, I, I missed that. Army Hammer. 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 Yeah, this is a oh. sequel to <laughs> Call Me by Your Name. No. Um, I see. Where they joined the Navy. Got it. And um. Yeah, there's some quotes here. George Lucas said, Army Hammer is at his best. He really chews up this script. Nice. nice. Um, Tucker th- Carlson likes this movie. He did. He said, I was hard as a rock the whole time. Great flick. Nice. Um, and the the storyline here, a crew of pirates stuck between their captain and his booty. So, there's so it's pretty much just about gay sex on a show. No, no, no. They're treasure hunting. Humphrey Bogart would hate this movie. <laughs> <laughs> just keep your voice down because if he comes back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Hell on earth. Yeah. Me. Yeah. So that's that. So that's yeah, nice, you guys man. should check this one out for sure. Yeah. I'll see if I can see that if it's on a, has like a Criterion Blu-ray release or something like that. Yeah. You should. That'd be cool. Check it out. Um, I guess coincidentally I have one too. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. So, that's, uh, that's crazy. It's actually one of my favorites. Like I said, um, it's, uh, it's an American fairy tale that got ad- adapted into a, a German version. So okay. it's a little more risky, but, um, it's Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Yeah. Um, but in this one, Belle just rubs peanut butter over her pussy, to basically like a, a man dog, <laughs> and he just goes to town on it, yeah, nice. like a big thirsty basset hound. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, there's inanimate in- in- objects, Jesus but Christ. I think she's just like I think she's just mentally unwell, and she yeah. just draw- scribbles faces on <laughs> these objects, and she's just like, you know, she's just like I'm in love. Yeah. You know? Oh jeez, I-, I love you, beast. But it's a dog. She has no idea that it's a dog. Yeah, well, in her in her in her imagination, it's like a you know like a man. Yeah, like a man. It, it's yeah. actually just a full fledged dog that ends up being the kind of the twist at the end. Right. He's got big um, pierced nipples too. The dog does. Yeah, I don't know why she fantasized that exactly, but he does. Who are his um? Who are his uh, enchanted friends there? The fentanyl pill bottle <laughs> and I would say she probably has a couple demons in her closet. Right. Um. Bit of, some addiction. Uh, and I think that she, you know, these are just some of her vices as well. Right. I don't think that he has any friends in the situation. Right. Actually, the movie ends with Gaston showing up and blowing the dog's head off to put out his misery. And she, oh, just, wow. he just lets Bell stay in the forest and probably starve to death. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can find this. You can prime this. Dr. Phil really liked it. He said, bring a box of tissues. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, there's a quote from the New York Times says, I'll never uh, look at my dog the same way again. You really won't. Yeah. I haven't. And that's Judy Dench is the lead. Judy Dench is the lead. Also, Tiberius Jones, my favorite actor, is uh, Beast. Tiberius Who? Jones. Ti- Tiberius Jones. Yeah, Tiberius. Oh, wasn't wasn't he like a like a like a the biggest actor in the world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was like <laughs> an old him, school right? legend. I mean, yeah. Old. Mm-hmm. He's he's been in a lot. I just remember him. Yeah, he's in some he's older my films. Favorite actor of all time. Um, and I don't know. I'd love to meet him one day. I don't know when, you know, I've, I've, we've been meeting a lot of people, but that's one person I definitely would be like, you know, I, I don't get starstruck much because it's like, you know, everybody's just regular people, but that's one of them where I would just, that would knock my sock. That's funny. I've never heard of him. I'd like to meet him too, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, you I haven't experienced this craft, but that's okay. It's good. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. It's ty- How's that, it going, That's gentlemen? fucking Tiberius Jones. That's all it takes. Hey, man. man. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's Good. great to be here. It's going. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. It's Damn. Always, it's always tough to be in the presence of legends. Tiberius, man. They say, they say never meet your icons. You know? I, it's awesome. Who says so happy he's here? Yeah. Uh, it's just a phrase. You haven't heard the phrase, Tiberius? Never meet your idols? Of course. So, w- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have something funny? No, that was funny. Oh, okay, yeah. That was, that yeah. was funny. What other movies have you been in? I, I don't know why I haven't heard of you or uh the the big uh the big one <laughs> the big one's one of my favorite films beautiful beautiful film i do love beautiful it. storytelling mm-hmm. what's that a, what's that about uh there's a big guy mm. he's like the big one. Oh, oh, the biggest that's one the biggest guy right yeah. exactly the big one. 
It's a romantic comedy about like basically back al- back alley fighting about a small one who has to fight a big one <laughs> and become yeah, the big absolutely. one. It's, it's a coming of age movie kind of thing. It's a, it's incredible. Beautiful yeah. film. Mm. Yeah, I think so, one cans. Yeah. So, so you were the you were the you played the big one. I imagine. I, I was the big one. Yeah. yeah. And who played the small one? Michael Jonathan. Michael Jonathan. He's a he's a lesser known incredible uh, actor. Yeah. Incredible yeah. performance. I've just been. <sighs> I haven't been to the theater in a while. That's what it is. Yeah, you're not oh, quite afraid to go. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, yeah, you're a baby. And yeah. So yeah, Night Tiberius. It's like once again just awesome to meet you because sitting like I mean I don't think you guys really appreciate how many movies this guy's been in. Tell uh, tell him about the volcano. Volcano, one of my favorite performances. Yeah. Um, it was really hot. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> it's it's volcano. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely it's super charming. Definitely. What did so? Did you have to? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't that movie about, like, um, like two dinosaurs just, like, feeling each other up inside a volcano, and then they just kind of, like, trigger a you know, massive reaction and right. you know, kind of attacking the town, something like that? Did I get that right? No. That's completely wrong. Mm-hmm. No? What, what's that's the story? Different, that was that, Jurassic that, That's a different one. This one's about Pompeii. Oh. Oh. Pompeii. Oh, like, Pompeii. literally the volcano. Yeah. Damn it. Killing all those people. It's a coming of age movie where he has to overcome the guy. He's the small guy. He has to overcome the big guy <laughs> in that one. Oh. Because to get off the island in time for the volcano explosion, it's it's incredibly, it's moving. I right, see. Right. Yeah. So what, what what did you tap into when you were playing Beast? Beast. Like, yeah, was that, was that a tough role or how did you get in character? Well, every morning I wake up and I take a cold shower first. Okay. And then I scream. The top of my lungs. <laughs> oh! Ah. And I come to set, do a couple push-ups, and I think about winning. That's it. Uh, uh, okay, but what a what in there would get you kind of into the mind frame of a dog that has to lick peanut butter out of her or his sorry yeah. owner's pussy? Yeah. So I used to lick peanut butter out of my wife's pussy. Oh, for the divorce. <laughs> that's a great way to try. And <laughs> yeah, pitch. that's that's good. So that wasn't but, a method yeah. thing. That's just, you, yeah, I guess you would tie that back into That makes sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Is that something you still do? Oh, uh, well, the divorce happened. Mm. Oh, damn yeah. it. Okay. Sorry, Sorry to hear that. Sorry, man. dude. Shit, it's out. okay. Oh. It's okay. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've been, you've been doing voiceover <laughs> for 10 years. Um, how'd you fall into that? I needed the money mm. for the animals. Which, by the way, Tiberius is toddlers, but they're animals. Dot com is a fund that I've set up, where you can donate to the animals. I'm giving them a voice. What's the domain? I really need the money. The animals need the money. Wait, wait, yeah, what's the domain again? Tiberius is t- t- toddlers. Dot com, but they're animals. Dot com. <laughs> right. Got Man, it. That's crazy that you have dot com in, in dot the. Com. And is it spelled out? D O T C O M. It is spelled out. Correct. A little confusing, but. Well, I, I mean, you know, GoDaddy only has so many website URL names and stuff. So, yeah, is there a promo code? Promo code the the big one, <laughs> big. That's what he's known the, for. Big, the big discount. It is the a big, big discount. The big discount. <laughs> he's <laughs> a smaller discount that has to take over the bigger discount. <laughs> right. And then you get the best deals. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Got it. So, you only voiceover, or do you act as well? Because he said you're. No, he acts, it, dude. Okay, he does, okay. he I'm does an act- both. I'm an actor. He's okay, an actor okay. first and foremost. Okay, absolutely. You know, because we were in the presence of, of such a great star, man, we actually prepared some classic quotes. And, uh, you know, I think it'd be fun. We, we could see if um, Cody could guess if these are from one of your films, Tiberius. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or what? Or, you know. Or nothing? Just, yeah. Or it's just not. Or just know. a quote. So basically, yeah. Is it is it a quote from a Tiberius film or not? Okay. All right. The first one is, bitch, I have a pancake. Could I, could I hear Tiberius? Yeah, yeah. Tiberius, why don't you do it? <laughs> Bitch, have a pancake. <laughs> I could see that being in a movie, for sure. Like maybe a chef, an angry chef, Gordon Ramsay, maybe. Well, now we have six of them. So character. Um, I'm gonna say movie. That's from a Tiberius movie. Eh, wrong. That was from uh, Riley Reed's last project. Phenomenal. Was it? Yeah, I knew I recognized. Yeah, that it was line. called. Cakes and it was called cakes and baby batter. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah. God, that that's so good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was that film. I thought it was pissed off fat chick. No, 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 no. Mm. So, there's a similar line. 
That that one was have a pancake, bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get those mixed up. Yeah. Tiberius, why don't you give me another one? Absolutely. One question for you. Where can I get some goddamn cream soda? Weird emphasis. There. <laughs> weird. It's dude. unique. Put the it's weird intonation. It's a legend. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see why you're a star because that really Walken. threw me for a loop. You know, Christopher Walken. Rob De Niro. Yeah. Tiberius. Yes, yeah. seriously, yeah. Many people say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say that's just a quote. I don't think that's from a movie. Survey says? Survey says yes. Yes what? Yes, that was a quote or yes? That, that... is that is a Tiberius Jones film. Oh, oh, it was. So I got it wrong. No, no, you got it right. I was saying that's just, a, that's just a quote. It's oh, just so a, you did whoa, get it wrong. Did, yeah, Bro, are you out of your fucking mind? Zero for two then. Yeah, what movie was that from? Dude. Cream Soda Emporium. Cream Soda Emporium. Oh, and it's not the most creative name for the movie, but I mean, with we thought that that would be easy because Cream Soda is in. Yeah. Was that about the the invention of Cream Soda and how that whole uh, genre of soda came to be? I think so. Yeah, from what I remember, it is about that. It's been a while since I've seen it, mm. but I just remember I mostly I, I found this film through YouTube. Whenever it's like the movie and it's like one out of ten, it shows all the scenes. Mm. But that was one of the scenes that like went you know it's huge. It's a huge. Yeah. Clip. I almost got it mixed up with Riley Reed's movie Cream Emporium. Oh yeah. So I almost swapped. Yeah, those I, I threw you off there. My yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, that was. How, how long ago was that movie, Tiberius? Wait, it was about forty-seven years ago. Yeah, I believe. yeah. You've been in the business a long time. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> well, no wonder I didn't <laughs> fucking know it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it's a classic. Okay. Oh, give me this is one. a good quote. Uh, Tiberius, why don't you hit this one? Eggs. Yolk on the side. Yikes. Yolk on the side? Eggs. Eggs. Yolk, eggs. yolk on the side. I said eggs. Yikes. Yolks on the side? <laughs> That's what I heard him say. <laughs> everybody, I think everybody here heard eggs. Well, maybe he's using an accent, so maybe it's How'd like get, from- No. You get I don't do accents. No accents. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Said eggs. No accents. Said it clearly. He did. Everybody he heard said it. it was fucking clear, Cody. <laughs> okay. Clear. Sorry. Jesus fuck. What's wrong with accents? Dude, he doesn't do accents. Okay. 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 It's Tiberius Jones. So it's the quote is eggs, yolk on the side. I feel like that's something that you know, you'd know say just like a fitness person would say just like at a restaurant. So I don't think that's actually from a movie of yours. It's not from a movie of mine. <laughs> Nice, dude. My, uh, my breakfast order this morning. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much charm. <clears throat> Fucking character. I love just him. so yeah. much charm. Yes! <laughs> I can tell you don't eat the yolks. He's got a body. Okay, all right. This one should be easy. He does. He's, I mean, it's just a night, you know, muscles. and. Tiberius, why don't you hit us with this one? I've had it with these motherfucking sharks in this motherfucking tornado. Sounds a lot like... Sharknado. Yeah. yeah. That's what the movie sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fuck this up. You, you, was he in one of them? Who knows? Why are you? I don't think you were. I don't know why you're looking at me. I, well, I'm just, you, you're, you know, this whole... I'm waiting for you to answer. That's why I'm looking at you. No. That it was not, not from a Tiberius movie. Were you in Sharknado? <laughs> God, you're so dumb. <sighs> you were? You're so dumb. Yeah. You fucked He it, produces dude. all of them. What? He started in that one. God, you're a legend. Sharknado. How did I not know? Eight. 11? There's 11? There's like fucking like 30 of them. Wow. But he was just in 11. We pre-produced Sharknado <laughs> 39. Mm. <laughs> that's right. You fucking idiot. That's see, actually, laughing. that's a bit of a callback to a different movie's line. Yeah. Which was uh, which was the movie... Uh, why am I losing it? it? Yeah, you should know this one. It was from The Hobbit. Mm. Mm. It's a callback to The Hobbit. Yeah. So you you you're all about animals, but yet you produce a thirty movie series about sharks in tornadoes. Cause, well, because they win, the sharks win. Yeah, he's win. yeah he's empowering the sharks. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I see. All right, sorry, I'm... we're almost at the end here. But Tiberius, why don't you hit this one? I pledge allegiance to that ass. Oh, that's <laughs> definitely a quote from one of your movies. It is. Yes. What's that from? It's from the the Patriot. <laughs> he was in that. He was in that. Yeah, with uh, that's fucking awesome. The Patriot. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. With uh, what, what, what's his face? Uh, fucking Braveheart. What's his face? Oh, Gibson. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah. Patriot. I, I. He's in there. He's like, he stabs this British guy right in those fucking back. He says, "Yeah, I pledge allegiance to that ass." Boom. Oh, like that. Wow. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, Mel Gibson runs by. It's awesome. I'm not going to lie. I got that one wrong mentally. I was confusing it for Riley Reed's uh, 
movie Top Cum. You're really, you're really uh, mistaking a lot of movies with Riley Reed flicks, huh? Uh, We're big just, fans. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are huge fans. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> That's our Tiberius Jones. Okay, well, uh, speak for yourself. Tiberius Jones is Tiberius Jones. No, yeah. no offense. Yeah, I would never just. Dis- okay, sorry. I'm not disgracing sorry. Tiberius, man. Well, dude. <laughs> All right, man. Send us home, Tiberius. Yeah. Give me, give us one more. I'm squatting here. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> yes. He's excited. Hmm. Is that part of the quote? Yes. No, that's just him, dude. Oh, Don't sorry, look sorry. At me. I mean weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's from a movie of yours. The squatter. Hot damn. Good job, dude. 2014. 2014. Spielberg. Spielberg. Yeah. Beautiful director. It is a Spielberg. Yeah. Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yo, what? Is that Charlie? Uh-huh. Oh, shit! Chaplin? What? Get out. The silent king himself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, where, is, where is he exactly? He's 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 deep down there. Oh yeah, there he is. Whoa! Oh fuck! Oh, fucking yeah. shit! Is he <laughs> running up to us? <laughs> yeah, I think no, no, he no, might. no! Holy shit! He's, he's fucking tall. big! Holy! Whoa! Fuck. Oh, hey! Nice. Big one! God! <laughs> he's the big one. Oh shit! This is the big one. <laughs> I mean, you're the small one. You know this in your movies. You need a fucking. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> what did he just do? That was do? so fast. He's putting me in his pussy. Did he just? He took him and he put him, put him in, his in his pocket. Did he just steal pussy? Tiberius? He put him in his pocket, oh, pussy. Right pocket. No, he had a flashlight. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, no, fuck. he had a pocket, pussy. <laughs> that was so fast. I don't even know what just happened. It was like it was a man kidnapping another man. It yeah. Like, it was <laughs> but, a crime. That was a crime. We witnessed a crime. Yeah, but he shoved this him. This is in what a, witnessing a crime feels. Like. Yeah, but it feels he, unreal. That's but what he, it feels but like. he shoved him in a small vagina, <laughs> and that made it feel like, like artistic or something. I don't follow. It just made me feel like I was witnessing life. To be fair, you have been saying Riley Reed films this entire time. <laughs> yeah. So I, your version of art may be skewed. Yeah. What mine is, I don't know. That felt just like a sheer crime, but it didn't feel like a, a statement or an art, an art piece. Well, now it feels like a crime when I kind of sit and process it. That reminds me of my favorite Riley Reed film. <laughs> <laughs>